Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to the five minute Facebook ministry. I'm Anthony Daniels, and today we're coming out of the book of Acts, chapter 21, verse 19. So then, King Agrippa, I was not disappointed, I was not disobedient to the vision from heaven. Again, Verse 19, chapter 26 of Acts. So then, King Agrippa, I was not disobedient to the vision from heaven. Now, this is Paul. This is the Apostle Paul. And he is uh, talking to King Agrippa. And he's saying that he was not disobedient to the vision from heaven. And if you know the story of Paul, you know that he was uh, walking uh, on the road to Damascus. <clears throat> and he saw a bright light. And, you know, while he was walking, he was on his way to prosecute uh, believers in Jesus Christ. And uh, he was there when the first mortar in the Bible, uh, Stephen, was stoned. And he was there supporting it. And he saw a vision. And Jesus spoke to Paul and asked him, why are you prosecuting me? <clears throat> So now Paul has been arrested. Paul has been rescued by the Holy Spirit. And uh, they have attempted to stone Paul. At once they had actually stoned Paul. They thought he was dead, but he wasn't. But here he stands in front of the king. And he is uh, testifying that he was not disobedient to the vision from heaven. And as we go about our daily lives, we need to, Leah, we need to make sure that we are telling people that we also are not disobedient to the things of God, to the things that we're called to. We need to make sure that we are doing the things that we've been called to do, that we're in line with what God wants us to do in our lives. And he's working to, do, to, to, uh, to have us accomplish the things that we need to accomplish. And this is not, when we, when we look at the story of Paul, you know, this is, this is, a huge change in Paul, how God changed him and led him. And these th same changes can happen in us. Uh, I've experienced myself where I've gone from uh, a person who lived in, lived for sin, lived in sin and changed to a man who is now trying to do the things of God. So these miracles still happen. I'm a testimony to that. And I challenge you today to put yourself in a position. And you may not have a vision from heaven. But we have something that Paul didn't have, and that's called the Bible. And that's the Word of God. And it tells us how we are supposed to live, how we're supposed to live. It's our <clears throat> it's our manual for life. And one day we can say that we did not that we did not be disobedient to the Word of God. Because there's so much temptation out there today. There's so much going on that we uh, can be distracted and that, that temptation uh, the trials of the world that pull us away to do the things that we don't know that we should not be doing. So I challenge you, read your word, stay in prayer, continue to do the things that God would have us to do. And Paul is an example of how we should live our lives. Regardless of what he came up against, no matter what situation he was in, he continued to trust God. And God brought him through all of the temptations. Now, Paul also ended up giving his life uh, for his calling. And that's something that we also need to be prepared to do. And You know, in, the, in this day and age, um, that isn't happening a lot in America. Uh, but you may be prosecuted. You may be, you may lose friends. You may be talked about. But that is definitely worth uh, living a type of life that is going to get you to heaven. So I'm uh, about out of time, and I'm going to uh, end this and just tell you, you know, let's not be disobedient to the word of God. God bless you. God love you, and I love you too. Have a great night.